Syracuse lacrosse has a storied history of success, winning 11 national championships and producing some of the greatest players in the sport. But in recent years, the Orange have fallen from their perch as one of the elite programs in college lacrosse. What happened to Syracuse lacrosse? How did they go from being a powerhouse to a struggling team? In this video, we will explore the factors that contributed to the decline of Syracuse lacrosse and what they need to do to get back on track. The early history of Syracuse lacrosse dates back to 1916 when students from the College of Forestry, now the State University of New York College of Environmental Science and Forestry, established the first intercollegiate lacrosse team at Syracuse University. The team played its first game against Cornell and won 9-6. Syracuse lacrosse captured the United States Intercollegiate Lacrosse League co-championship in 1920, 1922, 1924, and 1925 based on winning the Northern Division. It also claimed a coaches poll national championship in 1957. Syracuse lacrosse has a strong connection to the Iroquois, also known as the Haudenosaunee, the six nations that cross the U.S. Canadian border in the northeast corner of North America. The Iroquois are widely regarded as the inventors of lacrosse, a game that carries a cultural and spiritual importance for them. Many Syracuse lacrosse players, such as Lyle Thompson and his brother, are members of the Onondaga Nation one of the six nations of the Iroquois Confederacy. Syracuse lacrosse has also developed a historic rivalry with Princeton, dating back to their first meeting in 1922. The two teams have met 32 times, with Syracuse leading the series 20-12. They have also faced each other six times in the NCAA tournament, with Syracuse winning four times. The most recent meeting between the two teams was on April 8, 2023, when Syracuse defeated Princeton 16-13 for its first win over a ranked opponent of the season. Lori D. Cox was the first head coach of Syracuse lacrosse, serving as head coach from 1916 to 1931. He was also a landscape architecture and a professor of landscape engineering at the New York State College of Forestry at Syracuse University. He introduced lacrosse to Syracuse University in 1916, recruiting forestry students to start a team. He led the Orange to four United States Intercollegiate Lacrosse League co-championships and was also the coach of the All-American teams in the International Series in 1930, 1935, and 1937. He was inducted into the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 1963. Roy Simmons Sr. was the father of Roy Simmons Jr. and the head coach of Syracuse Lacrosse from 1931 to 1970. He was also a former player for Syracuse earning All-American honors in 1924 and playing on the 1924 and 1925 National Championship winning teams. He was also a quarterback for the Syracuse football team and a boxing and football assistant coach at the university for more than 30 years. As a coach, Simmons Sr. led the Orange to more than 250 wins and was inducted into the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 1964. He was known for his passion and dedication to the sport, as well as his loyalty and generosity to his players. He retired in 1970 and passed away in 1994 at the age of 92. The Roy Simmons Jr. era at Syracuse was a golden age for the Orange Lacrosse program. Simmons Jr. took over as head coach in 1971, succeeding his father, Roy Simmons Sr., who had coached the team for 39 seasons. Simmons Jr. transformed Syracuse Lacrosse into a powerhouse, winning six NCAA national championships, one was later vacated though, and appearing in the national semifinals 16 consecutive seasons. He also coached some of the greatest players in the history of the sport, such as Gary Gate, Paul Gate, Casey Powell, Mike Powell, and Lyle Thompson. Simmons Jr. was known for his innovative and creative style of coaching, as well as his artistic and cultural interests. He encouraged his players to express themselves on and off the field, and fostered a strong connection with the Iroquois lacrosse tradition. He won the F. Morris Touchstone Award for the Coach of the Year in NCAA Men's Lacrosse in 1980, and was inducted into the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 1991. He retired in 1998 after 28 seasons as head coach with a record of 290 at 96. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential and respected figures in the history of lacrosse. John Desco was the head coach of Syracuse Lacrosse from 1999 to 2021, succeeding Roy Simmons Jr. He retired in June of 2021 after 22 seasons and put together 265 wins, the second most in program history. Desco won five NCAA National Championships in 2000, 2002, 2004, 2008, and 2009, and nine conference titles, four in the Big East and five in the ACC as head coach. He also coached some of the best players in the sport, such as Mike Powell, Mike LaVille, Lyle Thompson, and Pat Spencer. 
Desco was a four-time ACC Coach of the Year and a USILA Division I Coach of the Year in 2008. He was inducted into the National Lacrosse Hall of Fame in 2020. Desco was also a former player for Syracuse, earning All-American honors in 1979 and helping the Orange win their first NCAA playoff berth. He was an assistant coach for 19 years under Simmons Jr., winning six NCAA titles in that role. Desco was also the head coach of the U.S. Senior National Team at the 2006 World Lacrosse Championships, leading them to a silver medal. 2009 would be the last time Syracuse won an NCAA Lacrosse National Championship as the program has hit some of its darker days. Syracuse Lacrosse has not won a national title since 2009 for various reasons. Some of the reasons are increased competition from other programs. Syracuse has faced more challenges from teams like Duke, Maryland, Virginia, Notre Dame, Denver, and Yale who have won national titles or reached the Final Four in recent years. The ACC is also a tough conference, with five of the six teams ranked inside the top 10 as of April of 2021. Struggles at the face-off X position have caused Syracuse some issues, as they have not had a dominant face-off specialist since Ben Williams graduated in 2017. The Orange have ranked near the bottom of Division I in face-off win percentages in the past few seasons, losing the possession battles and giving up transition goals. Syracuse has tried different players at the face-off X, such as Jacob Fopp, Johnny Rachusa, Jack Fine, and Danny Varello, but none of them have been consistent enough to give the Orange an edge. Inconsistent offense and defense as well have been issues for Syracuse, as they have had some talented players on both ends of the field, such as Pat Spencer, Chase Scanlon, Tucker Dordovich, Nick Mellon, Drake Porter, and Will Mark, but have not been able to find success with that. However, the Orange have also had some games where they have failed to score enough goals or stop their opponent from scoring. For example, in 2021, Syracuse scored only 9 goals against Army and 12 goals against Notre Dame, while allowing 18 goals against Duke and 20 goals against Notre Dame. Syracuse has also had some trouble with turnovers and penalties that have cost them momentum and opportunities. NCAA violations have also hurt Syracuse, as they won the national title in 1990, but it was later vacated because of NCAA violations involving Nancy Simmons, the wife of coach Roy Simmons Jr., who co-signed a car loan for star player Paul Gate. This tarnished the reputation of the program and may have affected its recruiting and performance in subsequent years. That's not to say Syracuse lacrosse has been bad at all. They have not missed the NCAA tournament when it has been held since 1979 and have made it to the quarterfinals five times since 2009. They have won four conference championships since joining the ACC and have won their regular season title five times. Current head coach Gary Gate is one of the greatest players in lacrosse history and was a successful coach for the Syracuse women's lacrosse team for 14 seasons. He has a lot of experience and knowledge of the game and has a strong connection to the Syracuse as an alum and former player. He also has a lot of respect and admiration for the lacrosse community. However, he's also faced some challenges in bringing Syracuse back to the national title. He has to compete with other strong programs that have established themselves as contenders in recent years. He has to recruit and develop players who could fit his system and style of play. He has to address the weaknesses of the team, such as face-offs, defense, and consistency. He has to adapt to the changing landscape of college cross and the expectations of fans and the administration. It may take some time and patience for Gate to rebuild Syracuse into a championship-caliber team but he certainly has the potential and passion to do so. Gates' system and style of play is based on his own experience and success as a player and coach. He is known for his creativity, innovation, and aggressiveness on the field. He likes to play a fast-paced, high-scoring, and exciting game that showcases the skills and talents of his players. He also encourages his players to be versatile, adaptable, and confident in different situations. He has found success as a head coach turning Syracuse's women's team into a national powerhouse leading them to three national title appearances and to nine conference titles. He's also coached professionally in the NLL and the MLL as well as the U.S. senior national team. He hopes to bring Syracuse back to its championship glory and continue the legacy Roy Simmons Jr., his former coach and mentor, created at the school. At the time of recording, Syracuse is currently 7-5 as they fight for a spot in May Madness. What do you think? Can Syracuse make it back to the national title picture? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos right here. I could not be more thankful for y'all. You guys make this all possible for me. And as always, remember to embrace the grind.